Today I'll be talking about the Emerson Action Cam. <clears throat> and here's a picture of how the helmet mount works. So you detach all the way to this point. And then using the helmet mount is over here you would attach this part so if you look over here you put in the string like this the strap it's not a string a strap and then you would be able to use the velcro to tie it like a circle over here so you'd mount it like this you can see you need a helmet that has holes, basically a bike helmet with holes, in order to properly use this. So, as I mentioned in a different video, my bike mount is, I not my helmet mount is broken because I can slide it through. But it doesn't snap into place, so I'm going to have to like add tape or some wedges so it doesn't slide out but as you can see this is how it would look this would go on top of your helmet the straps would go through your helmet and you would tighten it like so I wish I had a helmet to test this out on I'll probably go to Target to try it out the action cam Emerson action cam and so I've mounted the hexagon piece which is the bike mount, I mean the helmet mount. You see it's attached on here. And I threaded the string through here. It goes over and under. And also over and under on this side. And you can see that you can detach the Velcro from over here. So here's the helmet I have. It only works with bike helmets that have holes on the top, I think. Or you could poke your own hole. Basically, it's gonna the Velcro is gonna go through here and also over here. It's not the sturdiest mount you'll ever have. I'm put, obviously, I'm putting this on backwards, but I'm just trying to show you. And then you'd Velcro it from the other side. Hopefully, I didn't break the camera there. And so you Velcro it from over here. Like this. Let's try doing this tight. be put on to the bike mount so you can see this how it comes on on the other side I'm not sure if you can see but it's just velcroed on that's it and you're just Putting it through the holes on the helmet, and then you're just velcroing it as tight as possible so it holds on to the helmet inside.